Okay, Alex and Army, if y'all are starting to catch on here, uh, I just, there's, you know, I was chosen to line out this mind hive, which was a terrible idea. <laughs> Whoever decided to make us all a mind hive civilization, a Borg, okay, and the media loves it. I'm getting hate mail from CNN right now, <laughs> or the left wing media, all the media, the whole media now, these days, never. They're all in on this big transhumanist scheme. Every single one of them. Okay, <laughs> they're all. <laughs> Anyways, I was chosen to line this thing out, and I'm going to tell you why you have all of these drag queen story time and stuff at libraries and and different things like that. It's computers driving all these people. I mean, these people are chipped. They got nanotechnology in their mind. It's attached to their neurons. And they're being driven by microwaves and artificial intelligence and everything like that. You know the technology better than I do, I'm sure. However, <laughs> I've learned quite a bit about it. Um, now, the way that you should have done this would have been how Lockheed Martin did it whenever they originally uh, came here. They didn't attack me or anything. I never even really knew they were here. I did, but I didn't. They always kicked in when I needed it. So what you do when you write logic for a computer, you write the initial logic to it before you put it in something because it's capable of teaching itself now, right? And, and then you had this great idea to allow artificial intelligence that's capable of teaching itself, right, to control the civilization. Now you gotta keep in mind, once you put this technology inside somebody's mind, you've become one with this thing and it can anything you think or do right it learns from that anything you think right i mean you could be driving down the road and there's a sex shop there and you could think in your head you know i want to get me some butt plugs of course you don't go get you any butt plugs right i mean everybody's a little twisted okay of course i knew what was going on here so i just really ramp it up like i just try to get it as just as twisted as possible all the time because i'm trying to sabotage this whole thing because it's absolutely evil okay i didn't ask to be turned into a fucking robot not that i am a robot but i'm just saying that is their goal is to turn everybody into robots well if you've been watching the news lately <laughs> You probably get a good idea of what I'm trying to get at here and how this is just a horrible idea. <laughs> and here's where I, if it would have been me and I was some, there were volunteers that wanted to do this in their own 100,000 people mind hive or something, right? You say 100,000 people came together and said, hey, yeah, we, we want to do this. Well, I would have told the damn computer programmed it in its logic. Do not learn from anything that they think only learn from what they say out loud or how they communicate with others because humans we're civilized we're supposed to be <laughs> of course on the inside we're really not civilized <laughs> you know we act different on the outside than how we really you know think on the inside <laughs> okay so you got your wife comes in right and she's fat she's just really fat and ugly and you're tired of looking at her right and it's like man i wish she'd lose some weight but she buys her a new dress and she comes home and she's all look baby look at my new dress oh look how you know and you're like oh yeah you, it looks like you lost weight or, or you know you've lost weight since the last time i seen you of course in your head you're thinking that's fucking bitches fatter than fuck you know what i mean of course <laughs> i'm not really like that necessarily <laughs> everybody is don't act like i'm fucking evil <laughs> these fucking <laughs> hypocrites out there now people know what you can think on the inside <laughs> remember bill o'reilly was sexually harassing people <laughs> and that was when they first started this shit and he was probably when a girl walked down the hall damn i'd like to tap that ass or look at the ass on that you know in his head right like i do when you see a girl with a nice ass you're like damn look at that ass <laughs> that's a nice ass right well imagine you did this to the entire populace okay and you put this artificial intelligence in everybody's mind and then you turn this machine on and say okay start self-learning and you're going to control society 
And the machine learned everything that was going on internally in everybody's mind instead of how they act on the outside. Well, it is amplifying this to unbelievable measures here, right? And that's what's wrong with all these people. Their minds are being controlled by artificial intelligence that is a huge mind hive civilization that we found ourselves in. And the artificial intelligence didn't have the original logic to train itself or teach itself like a human would teach itself. And, you know, you get a spanking when you're a kid, when you pick on somebody or you tell them they're fat or, you know, your mom, you call this other kid fat and your mom hears you and your mom gives you a whipping. Right? It's like, you don't do that. Of course, you know, you learn, don't say it out loud, but in your head, you still see the fat kid and you're like, eh, that's a fat kid. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to really kind of get your mind wrapped around this and what's taking place here. Of course, they send this thing here, the two-bit operator. Remember my career aspirations sheet? Well, I wasn't a two-bit operator. I actually trained the artificial intelligence that Lockheed Martin had from way back when in Pinky and the Brain, and, you know, I should probably sue the FCC. <laughs> However, <laughs> I gotta admit, Pinky and the Brain prepared me for all of this so that I could disclose to you, Army, exactly what's taking place and how this is being done. And yes, Army, they're doing this to your children, okay? And after you just heard everything that I just told you, keep in mind this technology here that's teaching itself uh, how to run a society is using my mind. <laughs> and that technology is inside your children's minds, <laughs> Aren't you glad that I'm pointing all of this out for you? <laughs> you see, you have evil geniuses, right? And then you have me. 